Hey, hey developers, today I thought I'd give you guys a quick tip on how to programmatically create lifecycle hooks inside your Vue.js app. So I kind of was inspired by this tweet by Damian Dulles. He said that he was inspired by Adam Watham, questions regarding on programmatically uh, lifecycle hooks registered in Vue.js. And he says you can set up listeners to different lifecycle hooks using a dollar sign on and dollar sign once and prepending the hook name with hook. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick example how to do this. I'm going to use it just norming, normally using a HTML with script tags with Vue, but you can still, certainly use this in any of your Vue.js projects with with uh, with Vue CLI or any other module loader that you're using. So uh, right here, I just have an empty file here. Like I said, I have just using uh, the script source tag at the top, and I have the basic uh, Vue instance here with a return, so I can just create... I don't know, a hello world. And we'll just put in hi here, save it, and I'll reload my local file. You can see here, hello world is working. So we know Vue.js is working. You can see the dev tools at the bottom is working. So if you don't understand, uh, I'm not gonna get into too much of it, but there is lifecycle hooks inside Vue.js that happen at different parts of the, uh, the Vue lifecycle when certain events happen when the component is created, when it's torn down, these lifecycle hooks are are triggered. So like for example, the created hook is one of the first ones that occur. So I can actually just put one right here. I could put in created. And if I do that, you can see down here in the console, it says created. So we know that this is happening during the creation of our Vue.js instance. So what's cool thing about this is we can actually do something programmatically here. So I can use this dot, here, I'll type it in here, uh, this dollar sign once and hook mounted. So this is kind of the key here. You have to put hook and uh, you prepend it with hook and then mounted and then you can kind of get access to it. So now I can say when this happens, do something. So I'll do console log mounted. So that's another lifecycle hook, hook that normally happens after the create hook. So if you refresh it, now you see created and then mounted. So we know definitely it's working. It's created and mounted. Um, we can also do before destroy or anything we wanted here or before create. So we can kind of get this programmatically inside here. Um, Obviously that works, but let's say we wanted to include this on an actual component. So I'm gonna go ahead and just comment this out for now. And so I'm gonna create a new component. I'm gonna do view.component. I'm gonna call it, I know, comp. And then inside here, I'm gonna have a template. And inside the template, uh, any kind of view component, you have to have something to surround it by. Um, we'll just do a div here. And we'll just do hi. Uh, this is a component. And we'll close it. And then if I save it and I go back up here, now I have access to comp. And if I save it, and refresh it, you can see this is a component. So we know our global component that I just created called comp is working correctly. But so what's cool here is I can I can do something like this. Um, what I can do is I can do app at sign hook and then put a colon and then the name of the lifecycle hook that I want. So I'm gonna call it mounted. And then I can name the method that I want to be invoked when this mounted occurs, this lifecycle hook occurs. So I'm going to call it, it was mounted. Now we need to actually define this method somewhere. So we'll go back down to the root Vue.js instance here. And right after data, I'm going to create this, uh, I'll create this methods here. So this is just normally how you do methods inside Vue.js. And then I'm going to create, it was mounted. And just for to make sure it works, I'm going to console log this was mounted ran. So if I refresh it, you can see I have the created here and this was mounted ran. So 
So what happened is this hook was fired when the mounted hook was created, and then it went ahead and did the it was mounted um, here. And we could still have the created lifecycle hook here, still got fired first. So I mean here's a here's a creative one. Let's 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 go ahead and comment out created. And if we refresh it, all we get is this was mounted, as we suspected here. But let's say we wanted to add in two hooks. So let's see if we can create another hook after this. So I'm gonna create one called hook created. I call it it, and they can put name this whatever you want. It, it was created. And I'm gonna go down here, and right afterwards of this method, I'm gonna call it was created console log this was created ran and now I'm going to refresh it so you can see here it still works so and we expect the created hook to be ran before the mounted hook and it was so it ran this was created ran and then this was mounted ran so you can see here how you can kind of dynamically uh, you can dynamically create uh, programmatically create lifecycle hooks and do certain things at different times. Um, it, I think this is kind of an advanced use case, but I think it can be useful. But so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll include a link below to this tweet. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like more of these view type uh, videos and maybe more one off things like this, click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. Click that bell button and let me know in the comments what you like. And by the way, I also put some of my favorite courses, including some of my favorite Vue.js courses. There's some links there to some Udemy stuff, so click on those. If you buy any of those courses, that helps out me as well. Thanks.